Hello, I'm Carl Seibert. Thanks for joining me. Today, I have a task to perform on some captions. I have 16 pictures of flowers that I shot in my wife's garden. And I don't know anything about flowers. So when I first did this and I made these pictures for a demo, I put silly placeholder captions on them that don't make any sense. But they're really family pictures and I should file them properly with the other family pictures. So I've got some work to do on these captions. And sometimes people ask me if Photo Mechanic is worth the money that you pay for it. Or why is it worth the money that you pay for it? And here we go, folks. This is why. Okay, for starters, we have these pictures here. And I have tagged these pictures. I already tagged them because what happened was I asked Bonnie to go through and identify actually what the flowers were. And I tagged them for uh, to use in that process. But here we go. And as you can see, they've got little tick marks and they're tagged. And we will just select them all right now. Now, if we look in the caption on this one, we see that it's a lobster claw heliconia, and we see we have this kind of nonsense uh, placeholder caption after that. So what I want to do is I want to keep the identification of the flower, and I want to replace all this nonsense with something real. So I could, because there's only 16 of them, cut and paste individually on each file. But where's the fun in that? Let's just do this and get it done. I mean, this could be 100 pictures instead of 16. And besides which, it's photo mechanic. If I wasn't talking to you, I would already be done already. And as it is, this won't be a very long video. So I've selected my 16 pictures of the flowers. The first thing I'm going to do is I am going to go to export. And I'm going to pull up my metadata export template. And I'm going to make a backup of all 16 of these captions because just because you're paranoid doesn't mean that they're not out to get you. So, oops, there we go. We will save out a backup just in case and here it is just in case you know we're going to be really paranoid we have to make sure we actually got our backup but this is what uh, exported captions look like in photo mechanic depending on your caption i put a rule between them and i chose file name field the file type field the caption the byline the credit and the create date to put in my export. And it looks like that. So, okay, fine. This is the replacement caption that I wrote. The glorious light of late afternoon finds some kind of flower growing in Bonnie's garden. Okie dokie. Since I'm here, I'm going to select the first part of this, the glorious light of late afternoon, and a space beyond it. And I'll copy it to my clipboard. I will go back to Photo Mechanic. I will open the stationary pad. And I'm sorry, the way this video frame is set up, you didn't see that. But I went to the image menu and opened the stationary pad. And I could have done it with Control-I. In any case, Joe Photographer's template's up there. We will clear that out so there's nothing in our stationary pad. And we will paste to the string that I just copied from the caption that I wrote, or I could write it here, whatever. And I'm going to prepend that to the caption on all 16 of these pictures. Apply stationary. And here we go. Okay, so now we have prepended this caption. 
the glorious light of late afternoon, finds a lobster claw, claw heliconia doing some stuff. Okay, fine. What about the rest of this? Well, let's just copy from here to here. This is the trashy old placeholder caption that we want to get rid of. Close that. Now we'll go back here. We will go to Find and Replace. Photo Mechanic has a Find and Replace feature. We will paste in what we want to get rid of. Go back to my text file and copy. Whoops. We will copy, including a space before the word growing, the new text that's going to go back in our caption. And we will make that the replace text. And we want to do this in the caption. We want to do it to selected pictures. And we should be good to go. So there we have it. Now, just for the heck of it, since we have these pictures selected, we need to do it anyway. I'm going to go ahead and add some keywords. So these are flowers. And here we are. Family pictures, home, garden, plants, flowers. Flowers is really putting a little bit too fine a point on this. You really probably shouldn't go more than four levels deep in keywords. But that's not neither here nor there. They're fine keywords. So we will apply them to the selected pictures like so. Close the keywording dialog. Go back and look at our pictures. And here we have it. Here we have our keywords. And here we have our new replaced caption. There we are. With the identification still in it. Now, as you can see in this one, Bonnie typed a period after lobster claw heliconia, and I can clean that up. And since there are only 16 of these, I'll do that. I'll go through them one by one, and I'll make sure that subject and verb agrees, and we have this period that I probably have to take out of every one of these. And a couple of these, the articles aren't going to work. This one is a bromeliad growing in the garden. But if it was something that began with a vowel, I would need to change A to an. But no biggie. I can cruise through here. Do I want to save my changes? Yes. I can cruise through and I can look at these things. And I'll be done in two or three minutes. So there you have it. There's a reason why Photo Mechanic is worth the money. I would have had to have done that by copying and pasting one picture at a time in just about any other program. The keywording thing would have taken longer than a couple of keystrokes in just about any program. And this thing does the job. It does it really fast and is basically worth every red cent. So until next time, mind your metadata. I'm Carl Seibert. Reach out to me in the comments below the YouTube video or on my blog at carlseibert.com forward slash metadata. Thanks.